I'm a librarian at Beaverton City Library and today I'm going to show you how to create a puppet theater stage that you can make at home to do your own puppet shows using really simple materials. We know that kiddos at the library have a lot of fun with our puppet stages so we thought it'd be fun to bring that experience to you at home. And if you have a popsicle stick or any kind of other stick you can also make your own little puppet that you can use for your puppet show. To create this project, you need very simple materials. You'll use a cereal box or any kind of other hard cardboard box that you have at home, like pancake mix or crackers, something like that. You'll need a pair of scissors and an adult who can help you operate those scissors. You'll also need some sort of other sharp, small object to start your, one of your holes in there. So I'm using a push pin. And then some sort of tape, sturdier tape will work better. So if you have shipping or pack, packing tape, that'll be best. And then uh, crayons, markers, or colored pencils to decorate your puppet theater. And if you wanna create a hand puppet, you also need a popsicle stick. The first step to creating your theater is to open up the tops and the bottom of the box. You probably already opened up one side since you've probably eaten what's inside. Um, and then you're gonna open up the side seam. So you'll see there's a place where the cardboard box overlaps and you're going to peel open, it's glued on, and you're just gonna use your hands to open up that glued seam. Once you have that seam open, you'll have a straight piece of cardboard. My seam didn't open as nicely as uh, my last one did, but you can clean that up with some tape later. And the next step is to cut off the bottom flaps of your box. So leave the top ones on because that'll become the top of your theater there that you can decorate. So we're just going to cut off the bottom flaps. Inside here, you're going to draw your puppet stage window, and you want to leave a little bit of material on either side, the top and the sides, to make sure that there's some supportive material to keep your window on there. And you can use a roller, or I'm just going to use a piece of the box that I cut off to make a relatively straight edge there. And then you're going to use your push, push pin or something else to make a hole there to start your hole so that way you can then cut it out with scissors. other side of the box here. You'll leave about an inch of material up at the top there. Draw a line across and then you're going to draw a straight line down the center here. And I'll use the straight edge of my other box roughly in the middle. And now we're going to cut along those lines. And that is, those are actually the back flaps of your puppet theater. Now we're going to tape the box back together. So you'll flip it over and fold your creases in the other direction. And now here's where having some thicker tape will really give 
Industrial Puppet Theater more support. So I'm using shipping tape. And that flap that you separated that was glued together, that's what you're going to tape back together here. up the back flaps of your box so this is going to be the front of your puppet theater and you can decorate the top of it so you'll tape together the back flaps so with the two side pieces and the piece in the back finished puppet theater that you can start decorating. So I cut a nice curve in the top flap of each of these and then I just use crayons and markers to go ahead and decorate it to make it a little fancier. And then it does stand up on its own very nicely so you can have your puppet show right behind it. And then if you want to make a popsicle puppet, I just use some of the leftover cardboard from the box and cut out three different sizes of circles. So I actually used my tape as a stencil and I cut out a larger circle around the tape, a smaller circle inside the tape, and then some smaller circles for the ears and the nose, and then just decorated the puppet. But you can make any kind of puppet you would like to play with in your puppet theater. Hope that was an enjoyable craft and you'll have lots of fun playing with that at home. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.